Hi friends, this is Srinivas Reddy. In the previous tutorials, we discussed about what is VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and exact match. What are the arguments in the VLOOKUP? What is the syntax of VLOOKUP? Now, we are going to discuss about nested VLOOKUP. Before watching this video nested VLOOKUP, we have to know compulsory what is VLOOKUP, what are the arguments of VLOOKUP, how it is working. Then only, you can understand this video nested VLOOKUP very easily. If you wanted to watch it again, just I am sharing those links in the description part. Now, we'll see what is nested VLOOKUP. A VLOOKUP inside another VLOOKUP that is called nested VLOOKUP, we can say more than one VLOOKUP. In the previous tutorials, just we have seen only one VLOOKUP. Now, we are going to use two lookups in a single formula, means VLOOKUP inside another VLOOKUP that is called nested VLOOKUP. For example, we'll see there is a data. Here, there is the data, like employee IDs, hours, gross pay, dependence, state, region, like there is some data. Now, I wanted to find out the tax rate, regional tax rate. See, in the table array, we have the regions and dependence. Multiple dependents are there like 1 to 8. See here, we have three tables. One is dependents and another one is state column. This is one table. Here, second table is state and region. By using these two tables, we have to pick the tax rate from this third table. That is by using region and dependents. So, we need to pick the tax rate. So, how we'll do? We'll see now. First, in these two tables, there is a common column that is called state. In this table, state is there and in this table also state is there. By using state column, just I'm going to take regions. We'll see by using VLOOKUP. First, is equal to any formula starts with is equal to VLOOKUP. See, there are arguments, lookup value, table array, column index number, range lookup. First, lookup value. This is the lookup value, Florida, F2, comma, table array. So, you can select the complete range and you can press F4. Otherwise, directly you can select J, K columns. Now, we'll get J colon K. So, that is the table array. By using this lookup value, Florida, in the table array, we'll find out the regions comma to second column because we selected two columns in the two columns we need a region region is the second column state is the first column and region is the second column comma zero zero means exact match false exact match so i want exact data because there is a text we need to get exact values for that i'm using zero bracket close press enter now just double click here will get autofill. See, there are regions. By using this state, just I am taking the regions. Now, we have the dependents and regions. By using these two, we will pick the regional tax rate from this table array, from this table. Now, what we got the result, region is becomes the lookup value in another VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP See, lookup value. This is the lookup value. The output is as a region, comma, table array in this range. Here also, I am selecting complete uh, data, complete column, that is M colon U. Instead of selecting the range and pressing F4, directly I am using columns M colon U, comma, column index number. See, in the dependents, uh, there are different dependents are there. So, I want third dependent. See, third dependent is in the fourth column. Region is the one, two, three, four. I want third dependent. The third dependent is the fourth column. And the second dependent. Second dependent also in third column. See, one, two, three. See, every dependent is plus one. Like, uh, first dependent is in the second column. Fourth dependent is in the fifth column. That's what uh, we'll give directly. Like for example, third dependent is fourth column. We'll give the four. So it is not possible to mention every time. 
for every value instead of the I am selecting this cell A2. A2 plus 1. A2 is how much? 3. 3 plus 1, 4. In the fourth column, there is third dependent. That's what I am adding plus 1. That second dependent is in the third column. That's what I am adding plus 1 every time. A2 plus 1, comma 0. Here also, we need exact data. For SE region, third department, how much? 0 0.6 percentage. Press enter. Just select the cell. Double click. Now, we got the result 0 0.6. See, if you're not getting this percentages, then go to the number format and you can select percentage. Like if you are getting different format, go there and you can select percentage. Now you will get the result like this. So by using natural VLOOKUP means, natural VLOOKUP means a VLOOKUP inside another VLOOKUP. More than one VLOOKUP that is called nested VLOOKUP because here there are two different tables. From the two different tables, we have to pick the regional tax rate from other table. That's why I'm giving two VLOOKUP. A VLOOKUP inside another VLOOKUP. First VLOOKUP is nothing but to pick the regions. That VLOOKUP becomes the lookup value inside another VLOOKUP and remaining everything same. This natural VLOOKUP is very useful in the real time scenarios. When we'll work like this kind of situations, we'll go for natural VLOOKUP. Instead of one VLOOKUP, we'll use multiple VLOOKUPs. Thank you friends.